All right, so right here we have the Cololite Plus kit. So as you can see, you have multiple different variations you could do. These are Amazon and Google Assistant compatible, as well, obviously, as you've seen in the front, Apple HomeKit compatible, which is really rare because not a lot of things are Apple HomeKit compatible, which is cool. This does have a desk stand as well. Let's get straight into it. So on top, straight up, you have the base itself. This will be used for desks or anything else like that. So in here, you do have some connectors as well as a reset pin, five support connections, and then another four of the connectors. Right here, you have the control box. You have a button here, reset, microphone, the home kit QR, five volt, two amp, and these are USB powered, which is really nice. Right here, you also have your user guide. So if you ever get confused, you have this and it's really simple. And you also have your Apple tag there as well. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and they're each protected with those dividers. So it's really simple to set up. So first figure out your design, go on something like this. I just keep it in this orientation. I get my connectors, which are the longer pieces, not the short pins. All right, so right here you have seven connectors and five support pins. So these are your main power and these are for no power. These are just for support. You're gonna start off with the base and this right here is for power. The ones with two is the ones for power. The ones for basically just, just one is for support. So if you wanted to link up another one like this, doing this would not be accurate. You have to make it from two pin to at least one pin. See what I mean? All right, so we'll put this right here. Here, so you're gonna get your base and you're gonna feed this through the bottom like so. So you have your easily accessible button as well as the microphone. And then this also has cable raceway basically. So you can actually feed the cable through the bottom and have it not being crushed. So to start it off, we're just gonna put one onto the base right here as you can see. And now we started it off. And then from this, since I can go any direction, I have five different contact pins. I got another power one. Just forget about the short ones until the end. Get another power one and then I can go ahead and place it to a two piece so like this just pretend these little logos are the arrows and go out like this and then i'll put two stack to plug that and then just gotta plug those in there we go we got our design and now we could get our short connectors and just add these for support so if i wanted support right there just press those in and these don't support power there's only they're only there for support so technically i only need those two and then we can go ahead and get our base here we can stack it up and then we can give it power which i will do right now let me just get this cable out of the way you can easily just put this on a power bank if you wanted to and you're good to go so now we have power and they are on it's kind of hard to show you, but that looks really nice. And it looks kind of like an arrow bit. So right here, you have preset modes. I think there's three demo. This one's a music mode. So this is the Kololite app. Let me show you. They went ahead and sent in their wall mounts today as well. Right now I have that on the back. So that's what that is. Uh, it gives a lot more structural support like this. So it comes with, I believe like 10 sticky pads and then like 10 screws for mounting. Let's go to reconnect this. So yeah, you just scan that like so, add to home, and uh, it should automatically work. As you can see, I have it right there. Accessory already added, so yeah, we're already good. It feels a lot sturdier. This is the structural design on how it should have been. There's like no gaps. It's just really tightly secured. All right, so we're gonna go and mount them on top of our TV since that's the only viable option we have right now. We do have the hexagon right here. We made a new design uh, only to fit the TV, but you just use those little brackets on the back. This is for the wall mounting. And then you can have the tape on the back as well. It's clear and there's a total of seven. Now, thankfully the power is connected to the TV, so we don't have to worry about using any outlets. All right, so we went ahead and peeled off the tape. Now we're just gonna go ahead and add it onto the wall. I'm gonna try to center it but we'll see if that goes right that looks about good now the cool thing about these mounts is that you don't have to keep it on the wall you can easily just remove it just like that and add it whenever you need to just like that it's very simple i love that design about this product what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually move this power supply here so i'm going to turn it off as you can see now we can go ahead and place it back and turn it on there we go so in a matter of seconds we were able to relocate it just within those little panels there i'm going to go to a different exposure real quick so you can see this all right, so we're opening up the Cololite app here. So this is apparently a red. Right here we have a tea white, which is like kind of like a cooler white. It looks actually really, really good. A rose quartz. 
cadmium. I have no clue how to pronounce that, but you have that type of yellow, a jade blue, like a light blue, a hot pink, basically, a, like a like a tea green. I'm not too sure. And then you can also do your own color palette here. Change the hue, saturation, and the value of the color. Let's go to the modes here. So this is the dynamic effects. You have sunrise, which it will gradually change colors, like a cool fade. Right here you have unicorns. Right here we have a pensieve. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's pretty cool. Right here you have the circus. Heights, that's really fast. That's a big no. Cherry, that's like a kind of like a peach color, like a peach emoji basically. Rainbow, so just a rainbow color chase. Pretty much it. And then we also have the music mode here, so you can choose mobile or device mic. Music mode, three, two, one. I did use my light bars in the background, but let me know in the comments down below what you think about the music mode. Personally, I think it's all right, but Govi does the best when it comes to music mode. Man Leaf does a really good job. Uh, you can be the judge, like I said. The colors are nice. The diffusion is really good. The app is iffy. The price is a little too high for how many you get. Luminosity hexagon lights, I don't have them anymore, but they're way better than this, uh, especially when it comes to music mode and fusion color, everything else like that. This has an app, but it's $30 more for that app. If you want it $30 cheaper, an alternative is the luminosity. Only downside for the luminosity is that it isn't USB powered. So, you know, use some trade-offs. There's no perfect hexagon lights for budget. Link is in the description to buy. I'll see you guys in the next one.